Hey, what's going on, folks? Clutch here with the Farm Sim Show, working on all the brand new mods for Farming Simulator 19, as well the mod updates and what's currently in testing for Farming Simulator 19. Here we go. We've got all our brand new mods here. We've got 11 brand spanking new mods as well. Five updates. Uh, you're looking at the updates right now. So the John Deere S700 series, the S600 series, the Massey Ferguson 5700S, the Far KH45, and the Feltrina trailer all updated. So if you're using those mods, guys, go download those updates right now. But before we go any further, let's go into, well, all the brand new mods. You can see here, we have the list of 11 of them. It's only two of which, actually three of which are for PC only. The rest, they're for all platforms. So um, down at the bottom here, we have our vehicle control and the reversing indoor camera. Those are PC mods as well. Currently, the straw blower, the big country straw blower is currently only for PC. Let's dive in and take a look at those. So this here is the Big Comfort P22700 straw blower. My new favorite straw blower in FS19. This thing is absolutely amazing. You can see it folds down and opens right on up. If it was folded up, it'll look like a normal straw trailer, essentially, only a little bit bigger. You can see we've got four bales on here. We've got four bales on this side we'll be able to put on. So you can put eight bales in this. We're gonna fire this up in a second, but let's go take a look at the store at this first. So of course, you're gonna find this underneath your animal section right down near the end there we go our big comfort 22,700 we have zero options with it but you can see by the image there it does look like a standard straw trailer uh 100 horsepower to require to, to run this thirty-five thousand dollars to purchase okay let's fire this bad boy up and we'll take a quick look at it and see what happens now i'm gonna throw this last bale on here just so we can fit it in of course if you happen to have the new straw add-on pack very great useful implements for throwing these bales on this for a time looks good all right so we'll run around the back side of this jump on into our massey ferguson and from here folks let's wrap this up now the nice thing about this is it usually folds nice every time i've used this it folds up nice and perfect the bales stay on the deck until they hit the bottom and then they just kind of collapse together there's no messing around everything works out perfectly it looks so good this is another mod by black sheep modding uh looks like it's very well done once again all right so that's ready to go let's fire it up and look at that <laughs> yes all right perfect so it will stop between bales once a bale runs out you'll have to refire it up unfortunately it doesn't automatically keep going with bales it'd be nice if it did that but uh it does not do that you'll need to restart it every single time but mind you pretty cool mod this here is the lizard hay cutter dolly and what it allows you to do is take a smaller tractor that maybe wouldn't necessarily be able to pull a certain three-point implement and we'll be able to allow you to do it now it's got a pto as you can see that runs the whole length a three-point hitch on the back so if we wanted to we could take a bigger plow than potentially that this this tractor could potentially hold of course you're still going to need the horsepower in order to pull it but if it's a weight issue where it was pulling down the front of the tractor and causing you to lose traction then this will take care of that weight and will allow you to do it so you're going to find this down in your miscellaneous trailer area it cut it all 1500 bucks you do have the standard lizard colorings as you can see you can change that to whatever you implement you're using it with Gives you a few options there. Look at that. That looks fantastic. The 2500 bucks with both design options, 1500 without. There's still another 500 bucks a pop. There you go. That is the Lizard Hey Cutter Dolly. And up next, we have the Whole Run. And this is basically an IT runner trailer dock for the Terra variant. So if you have the Homer Terra variant, which was a free download, a free DLC, or free mod download for the last year, you will have this piece of equipment. And from there, you can just simply use it with this new Whole Run docking. Uh, we back into it just like you would expect any of our other pieces of equipment and it will oh, oh, there we go come on get in there it'll connect to that and then from there folks we've got an it runner that we can use with any of our it runner pieces of equipment out there now you're going to find the whole run inside your trailers section of your store there are zero options available for this and it sells for twenty eight hundred dollars that's it that's all and before we move along let's actually talk about a couple of placeable objects we have two of them in today's update uh, first of all, this here is the multi-storage. It's a grain silo. Well, it's a multi-storage silo. Uh, we've got a couple of extra things. Look at those chrome pipes. Look at those things. Uh, that is fantastic. You can see it's a normal silo with your inputs over here. Outputs on the left over there. It's a good size, that's for sure. Now, it sells for, what is it? 180,000 bucks. It takes in 1,500 liters per second, so it actually loads very quick. Your capacity is 800,000 liters per product, and it will take wheat, barley, oat, canola, sunflower, soybeans, maize, potatoes, sugar beet, and sugar cane. So a bit of a multi-fruit crop. We'll see if anything gets added onto this as they come out, but uh, very interesting there. And our second new placeable object, this is a decoration. It's the outhouse. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, even better still, we can open it up and get inside 
and um, you might want to take a look. No toilet paper. I, I think that's kind of common right now. But there's also someone's pink sandal in the bottom. So if you drop your sandal, it's in the outhouse, guys. You guys know where it is now. Go get it, pick it out, fish that out, all right? That'd be great. And moving right along, folks, we've got two brand new mods here. We've got a brand new tractor, the Fed 516 S4. I think it's the S12 to S16, to be honest. There we go. Yeah, the S. Uh, this is the Vario S4. It's a European model Fed tractor as well. Behind that, you guys, you're going to see here, we have the massive, or the equivalent Terrup 4032. This is, well, more. Fantastic. So we're going to test both of these out, make sure they're running as you would expect. Now, we'll take a look at the store as all the options you have for the Fed. There are quite a few options for this thing uh, as well. Take a look at this as well, because it is a little bit of a different mower. As you can kind of see, you're wondering, well, what is that back there? Yeah, it's a little bit different. So let's take a quick look at both of these quickly. So for the Vario S4, of course, you're going to have standard options for most tractors. There's actually quite a few options on this one. It's a little bit more than a little bit more than average. Um, you have your standard colorings for Fent. You don't have the full gamut of colorings, but you do have quite a few options there for our main colors, our design and our rim colors. Come down to our wheel brands. We've got Michelin's, Trollborgs, Midas and Nokian's. Kind of standard stuff there. We'll stay with the Trello board because they have the most options, of course. Wheel weights, wides, wides with weights. The knock adapter is a little bit interesting. I haven't seen an option with this before. That's kind of cool. We keep on going down. We do have options for twins. And then back to smalls. So there's no there's no twins in the front, just on the rear. But you do have the option of going narrows as well. There's your wheel options, folks. Down to our design options. You have a couple different options there. Uh, more design options for your beacons up on top, as you can see. Exhaust gives you a couple options for chrome. And, uh, the addition options, we have the power addition right now. We can scroll through these and get a couple different options on this. This is just changing a couple of the uh, interior effects as well as up on front here. You can see how lights change. Just some design options, as you can see the change up. Our part and parts, so we've got the string holder. You've got a hood protection, more options there sticker there's a little sticker up on the front here that does change right in the front kind of interesting and then down at the bottom finally we get down to our engine setup the 512 513 the 514 the 516 so you have the four different options there and then a front loader attachment so if you want to run this with a front loader you can do that as well so quite a few options on this tractor uh 512 25 horsepower base up to 565 you're looking around 184,000 bucks 185,000 if you go with all options i think the base was down around 100 and 75 something along those lines so there are quite a few options that you can add on to this particular tractor not bad uh the european only no way of getting rid of your plate or decal unfortunately on the back of this i wish you could do it as a north american version to be honest all right let's back out of this let's go take a look at the mower and just like the fent there are some coloring options on this but it is fairly limited uh you have some different reds for your main colors your design colors a green or a yellow and then your rim colors has just the four different options there so pretty limited there now as for our design you can see we can actually add a swath, an auto swather on this. And that's what we had with the one outside in game. You can add that on the back. We'll talk more about that in a bit. Our design, you can change just minor things on the uh, the back of this. You can see how that's changing just the, the decals on the back on top there. And then lastly, our wheel setup. You have a couple different options there. Interesting, some interesting options here. Some wheels I don't think I've seen in the past. Uh, look at those big balloons. <laughs> That's very interesting. Anyways, you have a few options there. So your price is about $14,000, $15,000, depending on what your options are. Let's back on out and we'll take a look at both of these. We'll fire these on up and go for a quick cruise. See how this runs. So our little fed here seems to be handling this just fine. We'll pull on in. we got a grass field right here. Let's test this out and see how this all works out. Now you need to unfold this like most mowers. Since this is not a direct pull behind, we want this to pull behind off to the side. You can see how that's rotated itself around. Now we can, in fact, manipulate the way this all works so there are options to uh change the angle and all this there you go you can see how we can change both the horizontal and vertical tilts on that now we also want to change the swath droppings on this so you have the different options on this like a lot of the different mowers out there we can change that now once we lower that down our swath droppings are going to change so they're in direct line to where we currently are which is kind of nice so instead of having your grass cut directly behind where the mower is it's going to shoot out to the side so the second time you come through this pass the grass is going to actually be behind you so you won't be driving over your uh, your straw swath on your next pass if that makes sense let me move this out just a titch farther we get this out a little bit further there because i don't think i'm out all the way there we go that looks better get that all the way out that looks good if i can go straight even better perfect so 
like I said, it's going to push all the grass off to the one side. That way, when you're driving over the next time, you're not actually driving over your straw swath or your grass swath on your second pass, uh, which is always not too bad of an idea. And everything seems to work as it does. Let's get rid of that. And we'll just do a normal, a normal swath. Go straight out the back. So you have the option on how you want to do it. I think there's three options, to be honest. Uh, they look both the same to me. Anyways, there you go, folks. So that's both the Vario S4 as well as the Terra 4032 Grass Swather. That's pretty cool. I like them both. And next up, we have a couple of different mods to look at here. We've got the old multi-purpose tippers. And that's actually part of it right there as well. We have the Massey Ferguson small baler right here as well. The Heston small baler. Well, let's take a quick look at both of these uh, different mods in our store. Now, you're going to find the trailers, of course, underneath your trailer section. Now, this is interesting because we have a set of three of these that come along with this pack. You can see here we have three of them, two crones and one messing. Uh, if we look inside of each, they're almost exactly the same as options. It's just the chassis color, really. Is for the most part the only change um of course you're getting some different branding as well now we'll go through a couple of these just to so see you can kind of see uh rim colors you're getting the full lizard coloring but the rest of it is kind of interesting because it's the same i don't quite get why so we've got two more implement mods to talk about we have the old multi-purpose tipper trailers we got three of them lined up right here ready to go in fact we have three of them in our store as well to look at as well folks we have the massey ferguson the heston small baler the 1840 small baler right here we'll look at both of these in store and go take this baler out for a quick test drive in a sec but let's take a look in store first of course your trailers you're going to find down in the trailer section now these come in a pack of three so you have the messing and then a couple crones and for the most part they're identical as far as their options go you're getting some different branding options i suppose but for the most part they are a standard trailer um yeah they're interesting but there's uh it's just just the branding is different now your coloring for most of them you're going to get full lizard colorings coloring options so you get the full gamut there as well your configuration this is where they kind of break up as well so each one of these has this as an option of just being a regular trailer uh you can have the extension on you have the tarp on you can get the bigger tarp you also have the, the small bale build for it and then as well uh oh this one does not have oh there it is here you go you got the flat deck as well so you also have the flat deck as an option so like i said you've got quite a few and all three of them have that as options to go through now your wheels you have your lizards Bellaborgs, that is it uh and you can go to wider wheels or a more aggressive wheel if you like as well i believe more on the trelleborg there we go yep you can have the aggressive wheels brand you can see how you can change the brand on this so if we can bring these up it changes the uh the decal on the side there you go you got a couple options there and that is really about it now that goes the same with all three of these they all have the exact same types of options but really the branding is what sets them all apart that is really the only difference between all three of these um yeah not a lot to, else to talk about on those guys they're all fairly similar now let's talk about this little baler so it is a baby baler once again we've only had a couple of these and the baby bales are not exactly something i use all that regularly but we're going to see how this belt works it looks like it should pop out but that is an option it does not need to have that if we go into our bale section baling technology down near the end you're going to find the little heston 1840 of course you've got some options here now interestingly enough you can change the brand on this so it starts off as a massey ferguson but we can change that to a challenger or we can go also to a fent so you can change those options also there's the 70th anniversary there if you like to have that sticker on the side uh your wheel brands you got the trelleborg or lizards and as well you can change the trelleborgs to a couple different options there if you want to go something more aggressive or not now this is the one where i was talking about you have it right now it comes stock with a bale slide so the bales will just fall off the back like a normal baler we also have the option of adding a bale thrower, which is what we have in game right now. We'll test that out. As for your colors, you've got Fent, Massey Ferguson, uh, and your Challenger, as well as the black Edco, I guess it would be. And then rim colors, you have the full gamut there, so you can change those to whatever you desire. There you go. So let's give this a test, and we'll see how this setup works. It should work just perfectly fine. Toss those little baby bales into our new trailer. Now, before we get going, we do need to unfold. And all that has to do with is it lowers that pulls that hitch back so you have a rear hitch on the back of that trailer of course and it lowers that back so it's a little bit closer or easier to throw that in the back so we're going to fire that up lower the head down and we should be good to go now this might take a sec because we don't have a ton of grass here but we'll see we'll get some going and we'll make our way down through this stuff that we kind of messily cut now i've got a story with this as well i am running another new mod as well right now we're running the vehicle control add-on mod which turns everything into basically a manual transmission. We're going to talk a little bit about this. And I'll show you the controls for it. But I am struggling with some of the controls. You can see how everything right now 
is just spinning sideways on me. I get a little bit of speed up and all of a sudden everything just wants to go to one direction. Let me know if you guys are having the same issue with this. It feels like the controls are just really messy right now. I don't know if it's that mod or not, but I need to run some tests on it. It's either that one or the reverse encounter. I can't see it being that. So regardless, it's got to be one of the two. All right, so we've got one bale made. I think another one's in the gate right now. We'll see what happens when we get close. As soon as they hit this ramp, they should ramp up and launch into the bin. Hopefully that's what happens. Once we get enough bales built up inside. Come on, let's go. There it comes. Okay, so I didn't even know that. So you do need to make sure you open this up, I suppose. Now for this trailer, you need to unfold it. And I noticed the ropes on there. I didn't think they were actually real. If you look at each side, you can see we can unfold the front. We can also, let's see if I can change that. We can undo the sides as well. So you can choose which ones you want to unwrap. Um, I thought they wouldn't actually exist. Look at that. That's cool. All right. So you can do both the front and the sides. Now we should be good to go. Let's try and toss another one in there. We'll top, lower those front ropes. And now bale should pop in there without as much of an issue. Uh, so make sure you undo the ropes. Oh man, she's struggling. Now we've actually bumped this up to a Massey Ferguson 7700 because I thought maybe it was a power issue. But guys, I'm not having a power issue. It is not a power issue at all right now. There's something else going on. Let's even get this other bale to launch itself. There we go. That looks better. Perfect. See that? That's much better, folks. So make sure you undo the, the ropes. Then <laughs> you don't break it like I do. Excellent. I like it. And for our last two mods, these are both available for PC only as they are scripts. Now, if I jump into our truck, this one is the uh, reverse indoor camera mod. And what it allows us to do is essentially now, if you're in, in, indoors, usually when you look behind, you look directly behind you. So for instance, right now, I'm looking at the back of the seat, kind of annoying. If I want to look out to this left side to back up to a trailer, now with this add-on, I'm looking off to the left and you can see I'm kind of sticking my head out the window. That's what this mod allows you to do. Very cool. I like that. So that there is the reversing indoor camera. It's very similar to American Truck Sim or Euro Truck Sim now, where you actually look out the left-hand side. Kind of stick your head out the window and look out that way. The other new add-on, guys, is a vehicle control add-on. And you can kind of see it activated down in the right-hand corner now above the uh, speedometer where it says, well, I'm in park. So I'm going to put this up in gear. And right now you can see it says it's still on park. If I give it the gas, nothing happens. I am not in gear. Not in gear. So I can rev it up. Nothing happens. Now I can put it in gear. And we're away we go. Now you can set this up to be a full transmission as well if you happen to have... A shifter or something along those lines so the keyboard uh, shortcut on pc is control c left control c and you're going to bring up this whole menu now i believe this is part of the reason why i was having some issues earlier i need to go through this menu a little bit more in depth and figure out exactly what's going on there's quite a few options in here folks so i advise you go through some of these you got throttle limiters you've got everything going on in here uh turbo <laughs> turbo wastegate volumes uh max pitch max at rpms like I'm, there's quite a few options in here. I have not gone through all these. You have the whole description down the right-hand side, which each one of these does. And you can also see that, uh, yeah, hand throttles, max gear speeds. Uh, it does have integration with, with your G27 and G29 wheels. So if you're looking for options with that, you can have options directly with that right in this menu. And more options for interior cameras, brake forces, all sorts of crazy stuff going on here. So if you wanna get a little bit more in depth with your shifting, with your transmissions, uh, this is an interesting mod for those who are looking for ultimate realism for sure. So that there, folks, is the vehicle control add-on. Like I said, left control C is going to bring up that menu, as well as the reversing indoor camera, both two immersion mods. But I'm having some difficulties, like I said, with traction right now with, I believe it's a vehicle control add-on. Um, it seems like I'm spinning out a lot more, it's giving me some traction issues. I don't know exactly how to fix it yet, but we'll have to take a look at that. All right, folks, so it's time to take a quick look at what mods are currently in testing for Farming Simulator 19. This list has been growing and growing and changing quite a bit this week. Lots of new mods coming out, lots of new mods being released. Really good to see, as you can see, our PC mod list has grown quite a bit, as well as the console, to be honest with you. It's changed over pretty much entirely this week. So we'll see what we end up with today. Let's jump in and take a quick look at currently what we have in testing. Right off the bat, we have the Apelgo RE300. We have an update to the Babertzi map. We have the Barn and the Barn Shed. The Biomac Disinjector. The Bomber Front Cultivator. The Canal V9. The Consume Comet VVT32. We have an update to the CSZ Equipment Pack. We have Dezika map as well as an update for the Flat map. The Grabmeyer Tipper. The Not Grant VE11700. That's a slurry. 
The Crone Easy Collect 600, the Lemkin Solitaire 12 SW, as well as the Lizard Z173, the Mater BMM 180, Mets full of Lavamac, Montana, as well as the MZHT10, we got Pellet Storage House, and the Pigsty Update. Placeable Details Pack, the Russell Mash Neva Pack, interesting to see this one here come back out. This is from FS17, of course, as well. We have a Seasons Geo for South Dakota, as well as the Sip Spider 354 ALP, the Small Metal Shed, the Straw Tray, the Universal 650, as well as the Warning Triangle. And lastly for PC, folks, this is the Wooden Barn. So we've got quite a few mods out for PC that are being tested. You can see quite a few interesting ones there. That Russell Mash Neva Pack, interesting to see what comes of that. So let's bounce on over now, folks, and we'll talk about what's currently in testing for console. And right off the bat, this is the Broad 9000 liter. This is a grape harvester. I'm curious to see how this one turns out and what we're going to use it for. Uh, grapes? I'm in. We have the Cultivator 6M as well as the Cultivator Height Control, the DRL 140N, and the Gutler Avant 45, Aisha Map, as well as the Curveland Quadradisc Farmer 4000, the Lawns LK30, we have the Lumberjack Camp, as well as the Massey Ferguson 7700S, of course. We've got a pasture for cows. We have the Plow Height Control, the Shock Overton Shed, and lastly, we have the Self Made Weight. So currently, we're sitting at 191 mods waiting to be tested. Average wait times up to eight work days. That list is growing back up again. We'll see. We were over 200 at the start of the week. We'll see if we can back over that again. Lots of new mods coming out with lots of people having time on their hands, I suppose. Lots of cool stuff. A great day for mods. Great day for mods. Hope you guys enjoyed today. So folks, that is going to do it for our list today. Our mods, our mod updates, our mods and testing. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, thank you so much for watching and supporting the channel. Appreciate that, folks. If you guys enjoyed, drop that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And of course, I will see you guys next time. Stay safe out there. Wash your hands. Don't touch your face. All that good stuff. And folks, catch you later. Have a good day, folks.